Hello, hello, hello. Oh, you do you entertaining the audience? This is so cool. This means I love you in sign language. This is a wall. <laughs> this is a wall in mind language. So thank you for being with us in this fascinating beginning of the show. I know it has riveted you. This is called Love and Friendship. Which side are we on? Love. Love? We, the, one of our many audience members just <laughs> ecstatically yelled out love. If he had a microphone, you'd heal the ecstasy. So he's into love. And what are we into? Love or friend? I like to have them go together. I have friends of mine, and, and they're BFF. Best friends forever. Aww. You see, isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. Maybe that's enough for the show. You don't need any more. Just look. I wonder if you could have more than one BFF. Or that defeats. Does that defeat the. Uh... No, you no. can. You, have, you can have many best friends. Yeah. I have a dear friend of mine. He says, oh, You're my best friend. And I, I was too foolish to say, Yes, you're mine. Because I had other best friends. But now, you can have many best friends. Right? Mm hmm. You can be poetic about it. You're my best friend now, and then, and then my next best friend. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, sounds a little sneaky. <laughs> dishonest. It sounds a little dishonest. I'm not sure I could do it. I can tell. I, my friend, my married friend, in Littleton said I could call many people dearest. Oh. And and dearest means dearest, right? Yes. There shouldn't be more than one. Dearest. Huh? Ah, dearest. So maybe she said I could call many people dearest. So maybe I could call many people best friends. Why well, you say dearest? Uh, is John, and then that'd be just John. That's the dearest John you know. <laughs> that. Well, what if you have two friends of John? You well, can't call, you can't call them dearest John. Dearest. <laughs> Second debtor is John. Well, I love calling friends dearest, but somehow calling them my best friend is more than one. My dearest friend, the big word, you, you said something about words and reality to me today. Oh, this, the link I sent you. Yes, the link you sent me about words and reality. About we're losing, we're lose the, the, losing nature in our words. The children don't know, aren't learning the names of things. Like a dandelion now is a weed. It doesn't, isn't being called a dandelion. Wow. They, and so they replace it with computer -y talk. Boy, what a loss from being a dandelion to being a weed. Yes. They so I'm not sure I should play, I wonder if I can even say dearest anymore, except to one woman. Very dear, you're allowed to say. Very dear friend, my very dear friend. Yeah, dear friend. I think I'm going to do that. I, yeah, I like friend. to keep words precise. precise so that they have deep meaning. Well, this show is love and friendship. We have an amazingly loving, friendly guest, Joy Cheshna. Her husband is in the audience, ready to set us straight at a time where we, run a, we, we take the wrong turn by calling more than one person your best friend. <laughs> and we're gonna begin, this is Joy Cheshna, and I'm Michael Karam, your host. And I'm honored to have Joy with me. She is a Joy, as you will see. I don't want to put any pressure on you. If you're just who you are, you, you, really, are, you really are a Joy. It must be a pleasure to go through life being a Joy. <laughs> and being reminded. It has, has the other side to it. <laughs> there, you cannot have Joy without sorrow. Oh, wow. Which brings us, segues <laughs> us into our first poem. Now, I was going to, I think it might be hard for me, 
Um, why don't you start reading our first poem? I forgot to ask my... I don't think I know how to do this. No, so you're going to just read it. Okay. Kindness by Naomi Shihab Nye, 1952. She's still around. Before you know what kindness really is, you must lose things. Feel the future dissolve in a moment like salt in a weakened broth. What you held in your hand, what you counted and carefully saved, all this must go, so you know how desolate the landscape can be between the regions of kindness. How you ride and ride, thinking the bus will never stop, the passengers eating maize and chicken will stare out the window forever. Before you learn the tender gravity of kindness, you must travel where the Indian in a white poncho lies dead by the side of the road. You must see how this could be you, how he too was someone who journeyed through the night with plans and the simple breath that kept him alive. Before you know kindness is the deepest thing inside, you must know sorrow as the other deepest thing. You must wake up with sorrow. You must speak to it till your voice catches the thread of all sorrows and you see the size of the cloth. Then it is only kindness that makes sense anymore, only kindness that ties your shoes and sends you out into the day to gaze at bread. Only kindness that raises its head from the crowd of the world to say, it is I you have been looking for, and then goes with you everywhere like a shadow or a friend. Wow. I'm going to read it one more time to you. you yeah. Yes. Yes. I was trying to put it on the um, screen for people to see, but I didn't. I was having such a good time talking to you that I didn't. Okay. I'm going to have to give this up. We might try in the second half. So it's hard, I wanted you to see this on the screen, but it's not, I think, something I can do. No, it's too hard for me. So that's what happens when you have fun talking. So I'm just gonna read this to you. You're gonna visualize the words before your eyes, or at least this is by Naomi Shihab Nye, who was born in 1952, close to your... Yes, five years old, younger. Yeah. <coughs> and she was part Palestinian, you say? Mm-hmm. Her mother was American, and she lives and, in Texas. And her, America, and her American mother married a Palestinian. Yeah, a refugee. Brave. A refugee, oh my. Yeah. And then she went back to Palestine? I think she visited, but she yeah. but she's brought up in Texas. She thinks of herself as a Texan. Okay, so this is about kindness. Hopefully this will make the world kinder. It has to be. We're, hopefully our audience, our huge audience, will feel the kindness emanating. Although my friend said to me on the phone today, which is which was sad for me. Um, you can't have your lovely states like osmosis sink into other people. Mm -hmm. Is that true? I always thought if I'm loving that you could feel the love. Well, you changed the 
mood, you change and how you are. If you're negative, you make other people negative. Right, so why can't I um, share loving feelings with you if you want them? Yeah. I can't invade your space with them, which I would like to. But you're going to have positive energy to, to Coming people. out, and if they want to, they can drink it. Yes, but I don't know if you can make them be kind. I think no, that would be against, be, right? You can invite them. Invite them. Well, would you like some... Would, can I give you some kindness? According to this, you have to suffer first. <laughs> oh, my. Before you know, and you is you, right? Mm -hmm. And you, and you, not me. <laughs> yeah, you too. <laughs> oh, me too. Before you know what kindness really is, I think I learned yesterday night for the first time. Because I tried to be kind because I really wasn't. You know, you got to get by. Mm -hmm. and, and I got into the habit of being kind, which is not bad. But I didn't really feel it like you. And now that someone pointed out to me, a friend and he... Um, he's very feeling and he can feel caring and kindness. He doesn't do anything to help. <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> he wants, but he's great at feeling kindness. And so I opened up my heart, which I've had challenges with this week. This might be a good way to go. And I think I can feel kindness now. It feels very nice. Do, 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 you're a kind person, it seems. Edmund, is she kind? Uh, uh, okay. <clears throat> he says okay. <laughs> it might be, you know, just being kind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so are you a kind person? Yes, she is. Wow. Uh, yeah, but not to him, but that's why oh, yeah. it's confused. <laughs> yes, it might be confusing. <laughs> yes. My mother was unhappy because my father was nice to other people, but not to her. Right. <laughs> I don't know what's that, why that happened. It's easier. You're 24-7. <laughs> it's easier when I'm close to someone that brings up all kinds of feelings. Like, ah! Well, you have to be... Well, it's being with Edmund all the time. It's like a being with, it's, he started like me, I, we sort of blend into one person somehow in my yes, head. Yes, And so you have to be kind to yourself, and I'm not kind to myself, so. So it's hard. Yeah. But um, I can be kind with other people, I, not I'm, me. <laughs> I'm, part of me is vicious to myself. Yeah. Like my father and mother were vicious to the, each other and mm. me. I'm trying to make friends and be kind to all these attackers that come and want to do me in. Like my father was a fireman and I feel an, an axe for much of my life, wanting, especially when I left home, wanting to chop my neck off. I interpreted it to mean I have to get into my heart and be kinder. He, I think he wanted that. And that was too much in my head. So in that sense, I'm learning kindness uh, today. I wonder, can we, what is kindness? Well, let's find out. <laughs> it doesn't exactly tell you no, what kindness before is. You, it's called kindness. I hope it comes through. Before you know what kindness really is, you must lose things. Yes. So that's step one. Yes. But that's how you do it. But what is kindness? Kindness is just the state of. I guess it's 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 like compassion. It's kindness, compassion. Well, kindness seems to be doing. You do like kind, yeah. like uh, the Dami, Dalai Lama said his religion is kindness. So or being kind. Saying nice things, compassion doesn't necessarily mean you do something. Right, you just feel. I feel your pain, Joy. Uh, please uh, let me know um, if there's another time you'd like me to feel your pain. 
<laughs> well, not that I'll be there for you. Before you know what kindness really is, you must lose things. So what have we lost? This is, she gives us a little more hint. Feel the future dissolve in a moment like salt in weakened broth. Feel the future. Oh, that makes sense. Let's get rid of the future so we can be more present, I imagine. So that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Feel the future dissolve. Ah, okay. Be in the moment. Yeah. Yep. What you held in your hand, what you counted and carefully saved, all this must go. It's all an illusion. Well, I like money. It seems to be as real as anything else. Mm -hmm. I like money. Oh, yeah, I like being is. hugged. It's an illusion. L hugs are an illusion? Well, well I, it's a little bit more real. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. What you held in your hand, what you counted and carefully saved, all this must go so you know how desolate the landscape can be between the regions of kindness. Well, desolate, I know. You know too, yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. When people are k k not kind or mean spirited or um, oh, that not alone, in the yes. moment, you're all alone. Oh, so I know that. Desolate. So that's going to help me find kindness. That's good. But you find that that's, that's, you learn how to compensate for all that with kindness and caring about and finding the love and or whatever. So what if we're desolate? Yeah, desolate. Yeah. The last I felt desolate, yeah. And that helps yeah. you tell me a little bit more clearly for even a simple person like me to understand. So when I feel the landscape is desolate, mm -hmm. how does that help me find kindness? Well, be because you're looking for life because there's no life in desolation right there's no life and so you when you find life then no matter what the kind of life it is it's like you're so glad that there's life there so you don't feel the desolation anymore that i understand life. and why why would i be kind to it though i just want to just eat it up because <laughs> yeah that's yeah, you'd be kind because you wanted to continue and you are being kind and you... You're very kind in this. I, can, I don't see it yet. I, when I am desolate and find a juicy, joyful being, <laughs> when it, you know, I don't necessarily want to be kind. I'm grateful. Mm. And I need it so much. I want to um, devour, mm. make you my supporting guest. Mm. Help me, help me, help me. Uh. So, okay, so you don't want to be kind, but, hmm, doesn't it, hmm, okay, let's just So maybe we go on. Else. How you ride and ride, thinking the bus will never stop. The passengers eating maize and chicken will stare out the window forever. Why, but, why maize and chicken, I just want to. That, she, that just must have been when she took a bus ride. On the great and she just, she, yeah, she liked to use real experiences yes. and put them into the poems that she's, that's what one of her hallmarks is. And so she must have seen people doing that, and that's when they think of this poem, maybe. So then, then you're there, de so that's a desolate place for her. Yes. Before you learn the tender gravity of kindness, you must travel with a wind Indian in a white poncho, lies dead by the side of the road. Okay, I still don't quite get it. I understand what she's saying. Yes. But I don't. I haven't learned the tender gravity of kindness. Just seeing a dead native. Next line, I think. Okay. More. You must see how this could be you. Yeah. How he too was someone who journeyed through the night with plans and the simple breath that kept him alive. Okay, I can see that. 
and not necessarily be kind. Well, yeah, I think you have to be, maybe she skipped the part about you have to be kind to yourself because you have to di identify with the other people. That if you, you, you have to identify with the people. So if you don't think you're not kind to yourself, then you can't be kind to other people, really. Right. So maybe she skipped that part with that. that well, girl, fortunately, that you're actor. writing a better poem than she wrote. <laughs> But we have, how do we learn to be kind to ourselves? Supposedly, she's telling us this. Yeah. Before you know kindness is the deepest thing inside. Now we're beginning to talk, at least. You must know sorrow as the other deepest thing. So, after you've been bereft, let everything go and feel desolate and see that the dead Indian can be you. She says, you, um, before you know kindness is the deepest thing inside, you must know sorrow as the other deepest thing. Okay. I think we need to know what the definition of kindness is. <laughs> Well, supposedly she's telling us. Yeah, but I think that that's, I think kindness, um, I, no, I don't think she is. She doesn't tell you what it is. She just tells you how to find it. Well, I'm not sure the roadmap is very, you're very, <laughs> you're kind. You must wake up with sorrow. You must speak to it till your voice catches the thread of all sorrows and you see the size of the cloth, the thread of all sorrows. That's a big order to just learn to be kind. I just have to see all the sorrows on earth, at least, are part of the cloth of sorrow. Will that teach me to be kind? Maybe. If I feel... That everybody else's sorrows, all, and you know that everybody else has their sorrows and you make a big cloth of it. Yes. yes. And so then you can feel that... Of course, you all know other people have sorrows and other people had plans and other people had hope and, and, uh, and to be kind to them because you're struggling and you should... And they're struggling, so you be kind to them because it's kind of like you're struggling when they're struggling. Uh, maybe. I think that's a kind interpretation. So maybe when we feel everyone's sorrow, maybe some of us might feel all sorrow is our sorrow. Mm. And then one kindness. I like that. I need to be more kind to me. Then there's only kindness that makes sense anymore. You see all the sorrow? Okay, the only thing that makes sense is to be kind. Tick not han, he talks off. There are four things you should say to your beloved, so to people. And one of them is, I'm here, darling. I'm here for you. I'm here. And, um, and the second one was, darling, I see you. And if you had the last one, you'll have There's to look two at more. It. There's and two more. One more. Was, one was if I made it, if I pained you in any way. Oh, maybe the third one is I see you suffering. I see you suffering. And the fourth one is I, I am suffering. Can you help me? I am suffering. Can you help me? Yeah. Because you're making them be. Yeah. I think there's more than that, but we'll no. check it out. That's it. Yeah. So they're suffering, and I'm asking them to help me. Yeah, because you two. I taking, have friends like that. Because you take on, yeah. because you take on their suffering, you're you you are taking on, by listening to them. Yes. You're taking on their suffering if you really listen. Yes. And then when you're you're suffering, so it's kind of asking them to help themselves because if they help you, because you can feel their pain. It's a circle. You're kind. You're very kind, but. I think I would get hit if I said, I'm taking on your suffering. Yeah, I know it. Please help me. I think I would might be hit. No, yeah. We only have a minute and a half. I'm going to finish this. 
So the only kindness that makes sense anymore, only kindness that ties your shoes and sends you out into the day to gaze at bread, only kindness that raises its head from the crowd of the world to say, it is I you have been looking for, and then goes with you everywhere like a shadow or a friend. Well, I'm not so kind as you, and I sent you this poem, and it sounded good, but on careful analysis, it doesn't quite help me be kind, but it does tell me that kindness is there inside. If you suffer enough, <laughs> suffer. If you, suffer enough you want the kindness, and maybe you can give it to yourself, and ask it of others, and give it to others. Hmm. That's lovely. Now, what is it? They'll have to stay tuned in three minutes and 20 seconds. We'll be back, and we might talk about suicide and then link suicide and kindness together. Hmm. Hmm. So thank you for joining us for Love and Friendship. Please don't go away. We'll be back in three minutes with Aha, a human among humans. <laughs>